Hello? Oh man, a little, little bit late tonight, guys. It was a little bit late. Uh, sorry about that. <laughs> Whoops. Legacy, did you just, did you just time out somebody? What? <laughs> did you just time out Brisk Lemonade because he was the first one here? Wait, what did he did he say something wrong? I don't think he said anything wrong. He said hashtag put me in your tweets, dude. You can't just you can't just time people out like that, man. It's messed up. What's up, guys? Sorry about being late. Oh, Legacy, you said you didn't mean to do that? Okay. Well, sorry about that, Brisk Lemonade. You'll, you'll be back in like five minutes, man. <laughs> I'm sorry, dude. Dicer, what's up? Jay Divine. Kabam Spotter saying, damn, I like your hairline. Thanks, dude. Late. Yeah, Swaggy Spots are a little bit late. Tristan the Champion in here. What are you doing here, man? going on guys speaking of tweet got you bro all right what do you got for me did you use my damn tweet wait do do more than one of you have a tweet for me to use what is going on it's that piper stream the fat cat is at your doorstep I don't know what that means <laughs> Hello, Jug. I mean, ho <laughs> wow. What's up, TJ Ray Ray? Hello, BG. Hoping for a nipple slip. Show them jugs. I don't think these jugs are the jugs that you want to see. BJ gave you one a few nights ago. You haven't used it yet. <laughs> so I can suppose you think you honestly think I remember a few nights ago? No, I mean, gotcha in my tweet earlier. Banana. Ah, got it. Now I understand what you're saying. Well, that's all right. Um, we're going to head on over to Twitter. Oh, my God. It's so bright, man. Somebody turn this thing off. All right. We're going to get this over with quick because we got a lot to do tonight, guys. So, um, 12 million cut for a bird, man. I knew he wasn't going to go high drop, Faith. I knew it. Dude, we got swindled last night by people talking him up. I was perfectly fine stopping at 13 and a half, and I went higher than that. I regret it. I regret every minute of it. <laughs> BG, how do I get a girlfriend? Um, how do I get a girlfriend? It's Grinder. Download this app called Grinder, and it's very user friendly. With great, with great late night live streams, there must also come great banana ability. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna go with that one. We're gonna go with that one. That's right, I do remember you saying that, Swaggy Spoatster. Let me just copy, and we're just going to paste this right on in there. For some reason, it's not letting me ca copy the last, like, few letters. I'm just going to have to add those in manually. All right, I'm bring you guys in. Dear at Marvel Champions, with great late-night live streams, there must also come a great banana ability. P.S. Wait, what? how'd that underscore get in there? P.S. I am now live. Tweet. Let's get out of here. You officially decide on your five star crystals yet? Not yet. Um, I still have a few days to decide because at this point I'm gonna wait. No matter what I do, I'm gonna wait until um, the next round of champions gets added, just so that I have a higher chance of getting a new champion because I really don't want to get jugs again. Um, plus, X23 is getting added, and X23 is one of my favorite champions in the entire game. So, yeah, it's it's only like what, like a week and a half away or something like that. I can I can wait a week and a half. I can wait that long. Like my vulture took my rank five, so ready for round two to get the dupe. Swank Spoatster, man, I can't believe you're doing that. Okay. 
Uh, let me collect some rewards here, guys. We got a lot to do tonight. So we're going to test out Vulture, and then I have to finish up 5.2, 100%. I've only got one quest left, but I do have a few paths left in it, so I don't know how long it's going to take to do that. What happened to Seaton? He, uh, he got banned. He got caught in the ban wave. That dirty scoundrel. No, I'm just kidding. He was, uh, he was partying. He was out partying. Uh, he said he's gonna... I saw him post on Twitter that he's, all, that he's back from the partying. And, uh, I guess he'll be around tomorrow again or something. Uh, okay. I already claimed one of my rewards. I, I tried to leave them all here just to kind of show off a bit about my shards. Not like you guys care that much anyway, but <laughs> whatever. Uh, alright, so three-star vulture. Got it. Uh, four-star vulture, got that as well. I went to, it was, I think I went to 14.7. I really wanted to stop at 13.5 too, man. Like, uh, that, that last million actually hurt to get. I was very comfortable up until that point. Uh, okay. But I'm happy that he went low, because apparently somebody else got the champion. I don't want to spoil anything. I'm sure there'll be videos out, if there's not already a video out. But somebody else that I'm a fan of got the champion as well. Finally taking my bird. Yeah. Dicer, I didn't even Google that, man. I just knew that. That was in my, my Marvel vault. Um, it like I, I saw half of that movie. And the guy looked very familiar, and I, you know, I don't see many Marvel movies, so there wasn't that many movies for me to go through in my mind. Uh, you know, there's only like less than ten, maybe five. Um, I'm sure I've seen more than five Marvel movies, but yeah, like less than ten Marvel movies, so uh, it wasn't that hard for me to to go through them all. All right, round two predictions. I'm not sure. Um, I'm not sure. I need to test out the champion first. How good is World War II cap? Got him in arena today. He's good. He's good. I don't know. I don't use him that much, but a lot of people use him. A lot of people like him. I can I can admit that he's good. Uh, I'm just not a huge fan of him myself. So, Vulture. Where you at, dude? All right, so we got the four-star version here, of course. Uh, but he's not going to get ranked up. Look at those contraptions on his on his shoes. We're gonna get some of those, man. Reminds me of Forrest Gump. He's like running with the like the leg braces and stuff like that. What was Cap's cutoff? It was roughly 2.8. I don't know the exact cutoff, but I know people just missed out if they got like 2.72 or something like that. They just barely missed it. Uh, so yeah. Uh, Alright, anyway, let's go on to the 3-star version, because 4-star, he's not getting ranked up. I'm just going to rank up the 3-star version here, and then we're going to mess around with him a bit. Let me dump this ISO. BG, nice job on the Vulture. Dysentery Joe, thank you. I should have everything needed here. Uh, I checked... I checked my, uh, not my ASO, I checked my Catalyst the other day. So we should be good on Catalysts. I always try to make sure that I get in advance so that I don't mess up the testing. The Sunday testing. What is closest will I have to Batman other than Black Panther, Iron Man, and Moon Knight? What? BG got trolled on a 4 star today, rolled right over Iceman. Ooh, that would have been your dupe. I oh, broke conky, dude. Sorry to hear that, man. Yeah, Iceman. I love Iceman. Hit somebody with a heavy, you'll see what the talons on his feet do. Okay. I'm going to test it all out, of course. Did you get the four star? Yes, I got the four star. But uh, I only got the four... Uh, I only got the four star for, for synergy purposes. I don't know why I try to be so careful with say so Like, yeah, who cares? I have so much of it. It's all going away anyway. Ravi sent it over 40 uh, rupees. 40 rupees. Please test 4-star Vulture first. I can't test 4-star Vulture. He's not going to be awakened. I'm only going to test the 3-star Vulture. We're just trying to look at his abilities. I do appreciate the donation, though. Um, I don't know. 
how much that is, but off of memory, I'm I'm gonna say I think that's about three dollars, and we're just gonna go with that. Um, thank you very much. Gonna go ahead and update you with the big old D right now. I wish YouTube would just convert it for me, but that's all right. Just so I, you know, know how much it is. But thank you very much. Appreciate that. Uh, I gotta pop open a few crystals as well. Just because I need some signature stones. I'm not gonna pop too many though. Oh, it's 0.621? Is it really? Okay. Uh... Well, I'm just going to leave it at that, whatever. <laughs> it's it's whatever. Um, either way, I appreciate it. Whatever whatever you guys are generously sending over my way. I'll keep leveling them up here. Awakening gem on Hyperion or Loki? Dude, Hyperion all the way, not Loki. Hyperion is one of the best champions in the game. I have to say though, you're using an, you're using a, uh, a generic awakening gem. It sounds if you're questioning between those two, and uh, Hyperion, honestly, he can be all right even without that awakening gem. So just keep that in mind. I don't know if you have any other champion that you possibly want to, uh, you know, use that on or anything like that. So you supposed to saying read last. Uh, maybe it's just be me, or have there been a lot more noob comments lately? Noticed it in day streams the other day, and a lot more than usual. Uh, every night since. Uh, I think new people are, are coming to the game. It's probably all that is. I've gotten a lot more subscribers lately, and I don't know why. So, audio is fine. Man, is somebody complaining about audio? Audio is off. Uh, the in-game audio might be, like, slightly off. I can't really do anything about that. But as long as you can hear me all right, then uh, you'll you'll just kind of tune out the in-game audio, I, I think. Most people are able to, at least. Ah, I think I've grabbed too much here. Oh well. Yeah, whatever. How's your night going so far? It's going well. It's going very well. I got the champions. Brian Reed Future. All right. Uh, I got the champions I was going for in Arena, though. So, yeah. Off to a good start for the day. Um, let me... All right, the ISO. It's too annoying to, to get rid of the stuff, but let me let me sell this one catalyst so that I can not worry about losing my catalyst real quick. Alright, cool. Alright, so three star vulture, all leveled up, but like I said, I have to, uh, oh, his PI is kind of low, but I'm guessing that's because he's not awakened, right? Of course. So... Use item. Okay. Uh, Vulture upgrades his suit to convert excess heat into power, allowing him to start the fight at full Shatari energy. I don't know if uh, if if Lmax, if you're in here or not. Uh, Shatari energy and absorb any incinerate debuff applied to him. Uh, he's going to fill his Shatari energy. Okay. Uh... Okay. Additionally, while the opponent is incinerated, gain power per second. All right, cool. So let's pop some more items in the sky. I don't, I don't think it goes up that high. I think it only goes up to like what two power per second, something like that, which is not that bad. I heard it. All right, good. Yeah, it's only at point seven two right now. All right, I have to. Yeah, I, I want to grab more because power per second that actually matters. You can, you can tell a difference. Uh, it's, it's gonna make a big difference for the champion. So. Let's pop open a few of these greater solos. I don't want to pop too many. I just want like a few signature stones. Oh, you know what? I didn't see if I had any of these. I might have. I might have. Oh, wait, no, no. Because they didn't show up on the list, right? I don't think I have any of those. All right, we got three of these now, so that's good. Three of these and one of these. That might be enough. Let's pop one more just to see if I get anything else, though. Still three, still one. All right, that last ten was a waste. I should not have popped those last ten. All right, that's good enough. Okay. 
We're going to get to testing in just a sec here. Okay. This PI is on the move. Well, it's not going up that fast. It's not going up that high. It's not going to go too much higher than what it is now. Um, I mean, it's not terrible. He's up there with some of the other guys, but still, I like I like when the new champions kind of like go really high, because uh, that way I get to use them more in arena. Because normally when I'm doing the three star arena, I only use like the, you know, maybe my top ten teams or something like that, not even top like five, six teams, something something like that. All right. Let's check out what his signature ability is up to. Alright, 0.86 power per second. Does it only go up to 1% power per second? Maybe it only goes up to 1. Maybe some of you already told me that. Uh, it goes up to 1.02%. Okay. DHC volts. Thank you very much. Alright, so yeah, that is not that big of a difference now. Alright. We're good. We're good where we're at then. Um, let's let's just start testing him out. Let's give him the old Winter Soldier test. Do you have a blank star vulture, Brian? If you were gonna say four star, then yes, I have four star vulture. I want to dump everybody here. And. Oh, I am so glad I picked up the four-star vulture now. Wow, he's only got two synergies here. Wow. Okay, that's what I was a little bit afraid of. Um, check out the four-star vulture, guys. The reason I got the four-star vulture is because he has four synergies. This is my whole purpose for it. Um... I actually really like the perfect block synergies that it has. Let me let me take a look at that real quick. Uh, I just want to throw in this team here. So if I play, if let, let's say I want to go for, uh, if if I decide to go for New Spidey as a five star champion, um, I'm I'm gonna use this exact team setup. Like it, if I'm going for New Spidey as a champion. Pretty much the only reason, I think, is I th think he might be the best champion for me personally to use in uh, Labyrinth of Legends. Uh, like, he's more than just a Labyrinth champion, though. Because I, I would use him outside... Of course I'd use him outside of Labyrinth, too, right? But he can do fights better than, than Gwenpool can. Some fights. A lot of the fights, actually. Uh, I think. And I like having the perfect block. I don't know exactly what this does. What is this? Just, just ability accuracy? I don't know how important that actually is, um, but I like that it's a, a good balance of crit, attack, perfect block, and you guys know that uh, in my last run, I, I, I'm not really good at intercepting, so blocking actually matters to me quite a bit. Would a Miles be better on that team? Uh, I, I, li I like the block, I like the block. Like, I know what you're saying, that uh, got Miles here. But yeah, it's just a really good combination of attack, crit, and, and block, I think. There might be a better team set up here. I don't know. If, but honestly, I think this is the team that I'd go with. So I'd have um, plus 5 there, plus 10 here, and then plus 4 from the synergy because I would drop suicides if I ran with this guy. So I would have perfect block. Placing Gwenpool... Possibly. I'm still thinking about it. Cause, like, Alright, here's the thing. I think Gwenpool is still good enough, and I still enjoy playing Gwenpool a lot better than I enjoy playing with this guy. But at the same time, if, if, he, if he can save me units in Labyrinth of Legends, like, he might be able to save me, like, a few thousand units or something like that. Or, or not, maybe not units, because, you know, I might be able to get through there without using units again. But um, he might be able to save me, like, time farming items and stuff like that. Joel, what's up, dude? Uh, no. Well, I used the Tech Awakening gem, but only on the only on the three star, only on the three star. All right, let's let's test out the three star right now. Uh, I'm gonna so I'm gonna dump this. I'm gonna dump him as a four star, and just throw him as a three star. I'm gonna keep this. Oh wait, I'm on four stars. 
Just keep the same team. 40% incinerate damage. Yeah, I think I'm just going to keep the same exact team. It might not be the best, but whatever. For, for like, Vulture. I don't know. For what I'm doing right now. Oh, you know what? I didn't look at his... Alright, we have to look at his stats a bit more. I forgot to check out, like, his block proficiency and stuff like that. So, we'll do that real quick, too. And I should read his description a bit better here. Alright, so... Attack, um... Alright, so he has low crit rating, but that's actually really high crit damage rating, I think? Alright, hold on, hold on, here's what we're gonna do. Sorry guys, I should have I thought of this before. Um, we're gonna compare him to other champions here, real quick. Alright, so Rocket, let me see where Rocket's at in terms of attack. Of course, he has the highest attack in the game as far as I know. Um, and he's at 548 base, but look at his, yeah, look at his crit damage rating. Like, he has really high crit, but his crit damage rating is only at, uh, 954, so 211%. We'll look at new Spidey here, too. Wait, where is new, oh, I don't have new Spidey leveled up as a 3-star, alright, never mind. Um, alright, so his attack is a lot lower. It's, you know, it's the same as Ultron's, which is pretty, it's, like, Ultron's attack's not bad, but his crit rating is pretty low as well. Alright, anyway. Um, so really high crit damage rating, so I'm guessing if you throw some crit synergies in with this guy, he can, he can put out some good damage. He has very strong block proficiency, 62.2. That's, that's up there. That's higher than Ultron's. And as a 4-star, I think it'd be even higher than this. Typically, the 4-stars have a little bit higher block proficiency. Uh, armor, whatever. Seems a little bit low. Health-wise, it's average, I think. Alright, in terms of his actual abilities here. So we're going to... We have to keep Incinerate on the opponent, I'm guessing, to keep that, uh, you know, that power gain going. Seems like seems like the thing to do. Uh, Vulture spends 50 energy by dashing away from, uh, then immediately back towards his opponent, triggering a Raptor Strike. If the Raptor Strike attack is blocked, he gains a decoy buff, which causes the next attack against him that would otherwise hit to miss. You can only have one of those. Each time Vulture lands a critical hit, his suit stores energy. Ah, that's why he has low crit rate. They're trying to control... Uh, the energy gain, it seems. Okay. Uh, if the Raptor Strike hits his opponent, it drains 25% of their current power. You know, we might just change up our team to have, like, a higher crit team. I think that's what we're going to do. Uh, if the... If the... Uh, Alright, so, yeah, yeah. If the Raptor Strike hits his opponent, it drains 25% of their power. Okay. Vulture evades all attacks while dodging back. Um, dodging an attack this way consumes energy, excuse me, uh, and incinerates the opponent. Oh, that's how you apply the incinerate? It's only five seconds, though. Uh, okay. Passive. Vulture has permanent armor up buff, increasing his armor. Ah, that's why his armor is low, too. Okay. If this buff is removed for any reason, it will refresh itself after ten seconds. Okay. Um, just for nullify effects, I guess, since it is permanent. So, special attack one... One a chance to apply a Siphon Charge debuff, which drains 25% of all power the opponent gains, converting it into energy. Okay. Uh, special Attack 2, chance to apply Thermal Feedback debuff, which burns 25% of all power the opponent gains. Okay. And Special Attack 3, the attack incinerates the enemy. Alright, and this is a 20 second incinerate. This effect also removes perfect block chance and reduces block proficiency. Okay. All right, let's go give him a test run. Bye, I'm out. Okay, see you later. Got my vulture awakened and maxed him so quick. He's fun to use. Nice. This is gonna be my first. Um, this is gonna be my first time using him. I, I'm gonna change up the team after this to a higher crit team, and we'll, we'll kind of just see if there's like a big difference in it. All right, so. 
That's that Raptor Strike. It's probably not the best use of it. But you can use it uh, like that. Okay. 1,001 crits. So yeah, like his, the crit proficiency is, is really up there. You can tell like 1,001 crit on a 3-star is really not that bad. Just on a medium attack. Man, his character model is huge. Oh, and I just got wrecked. Alright, this is kind of a crappy first test. Yeah, we need to do a different test here. This was this was terrible. Alright. Definitely draining that, that power a little bit there. Alright, so that incinerate is happening all the time. Kind of like the poise thing with, with Spidey. Does that make it hard to, to keep the charges up? That might make, make it hard to actually keep the charges up. Are you going to open any 5.2 rewards tonight? No, I'm not opening up the rewards. Alright, yeah, that energy is actually hard to keep up. To do the Raptor Strike thing. All right, let's 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 do this with a uh, higher crit team. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Downplaying for the easy dupe could work, Brian. <laughs> All right, first impressions. I don't know if I like this guy, uh, and I'm not downplaying for the dupe. There's there's a zero percent chance that I'm going for this guy. Oh, why did I throw him out there? There's a zero percent chance that I'm actually going for this guy next round. Should I keep that incinerate damage? No, let's just go with like a full full on crit team. Uh, but yeah, there's a 0% chance that I'm actually going to pick this guy up next round just because I am going camping after this week and it's going to be extremely busy. I'm still trying to make uh, videos in advance, the Alliance War video thing that um, I talked about. That's why you guys have something to watch while I'm away. Uh, I'm still going to try to live stream, but I don't know how well that's going to work. I don't know how, how good the Wi-Fi is. Um, I can get higher crits, right, but I still want some kind of balance in there, so this is, yeah, this is, this is plenty. Let's try this team out. And I still have to figure out, like, my, my laptop stuff. It's mostly set up, but I have to run tests and everything, and, yeah, there's, there's a lot that I have to do. So there's, I, I'm, I'm probably not even going to hit all the milestones this week. All right, I'm gonna try not to get wrecked this time. I almost like don't want to use the Raptor Strike just to keep my energy high, but that's like you know a big part of him, I think, right? You know what? That Incinerate is is actually that's not that bad of damage. Oh, I lost my energy. Did I do a Raptor Strike and I didn't know it, or is it just from? Yep. I mean, I have no reason to be baiting him like this, but I'm just, like, keeping an eye on my energy, and it's just dwindling. It sucks. Hyperion 550 or Drax 5-star level 3? Hyperion. Alright, so those two can stack. The others can't. It sucks that you can't stack the, the one just from evading. Alright, sit him with this SP2 again. I'll try the SP1 after this. The damage seemed alright. That was like nearly 3,000 on that crit. That power drain was pretty good. That power drain on the Raptor Strike is is pretty nice. I seem to be keeping more charges this time, but I'm also not really baiting out his specials. All right, so maybe that's what you have to do. Maybe you just have to like really control this guy's power so that you don't have to bait. I don't know. I've already done 103 hits. 
I don't know how many of that came from the SP3, but it doesn't look like it did much damage. I really don't like that those incinerates can't stack. I think that's kind of lame. They don't last very long, so like it, oh, it's not it's not a huge deal, but I don't like it. It's decent damage on that SP2 also, right? That crit was for it's like a pretty high amount. All right, I'm totally dead here. Charging back. <laughs> Alright, I was waiting to die there. He sucks? No, I don't, I don't. I mean, I wouldn't say he sucks. Uh, this is the first impression. First impression is not that, that strong of a one for me here. All right, let's. Oh man, I can't remember what like the hundred hit tests were like, damage-wise. You know what? I might still have one of those spreadsheets here. I mean, we we can't go by like the number of hits I did either, though, because I I don't know how many come with each of his combo hits. I forgot I'm gaining power, too, when he's incinerated like that. I kind of forgot about that. I didn't even notice it, to be honest. Um, let me just do another, let me just do another fight here. Let me do another fight. Hang on. He seems, like, pretty tanky. The fact that he's a three-star champion, he seems pretty tanky, and I, I'm I'm thinking it's because of all that armor that he gains while he has energy charges. Uh, he, his, his damage reduction should be pretty up there. Let me do another fight here. Uh, I want to pay attention to my own power gain. While he's incinerated. Come on, dude. Charge me. All right, it's pretty small. I mean, it adds up over time, though, right? If you're able to keep this guy incinerated. If you think about it, like, uh, if you put an SP3 on him, it lasts for 20 seconds. It's like 20% of your power. So it adds up. Hmm. I wonder if you have two incinerates on him. That probably doesn't do anything, right? Looks more like an Alliance War Defender. I don't think he's an Alliance War Defender. It was pretty easy in the Spidey Challenge. Alright. That looks to be about the same, whether he had one or two on him. The Heavy Attack does look pretty sweet. Doesn't do anything cool, but it looks pretty sweet. I'm just kind of screwing around at this point. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm not. Uh, I'm not feeling them. Not feeling it. Uh, Joel, are you still in here? You uh, got any? Used S S1, Brian. You get tons of energy from it. Okay, so you're thinking S1 spam is the way to go? S2 actually does a ton of damage if you factor in the damage over time. Yeah, so like damage-wise the specials seem to be seem to be all right. It, like like good. I'm kind of downplaying it saying all right, but I mean the, the damage from special seems all right, all right like good. All right, all right. I keep saying all right. Let me back out. I'm going to do a 100 hit test just with the SP1 and I want to see what kind of damage he can actually put out. 
Let's do this 100 hit test. And then we're going to come back in here with a different champion. Or if I can find that spreadsheet that I have. Because I think I have it. Um, I might have deleted the thing, honestly. Hang on, I'm going to look real quick. BG, have you tested the Shatari Strike yet? That's the Raptor Strike thing, right? Yeah, I'm just scrolling through spreadsheets real quick. Oh wait, I got it. Okay. So we only need to do one test because I still have. Wow, this is the this is the worst spreadsheet I've ever made. <laughs> but these are hundred hit tests. Uh, okay. So his damage not, might not be that bad. Alright, we'll, we'll look at this, at this again in a second. Yeah, yeah, so the Raptor Strike thing... The Raptor Strike thing actually seems pretty cool. Um, the only kind of... The only kind of bad part about it is that it's 25% of their current power and not their max power. So... I, I think it's best used uh, when they, um, you know, when they have a lot of power, of course. The other thing, I, I really don't like this about them. So the, if I could change something about them, immediately the thing that I would change is the top line where it says Vulture evades all attacks while dodging back. Dodging an attack this way consumes 10 energy and incinerates the opponent, dealing X amount of damage, uh, max one stack. Why is it max one stack? Just allow it to, to put more. I Sometimes Kabam really confuses me with stuff like that. Like the whole X-Pool Dead Force thing. Like just, just let him bleed multiple times. Let him apply multiple bleeds. It's going to be okay. I assure you that it's not going to break the champion. It's not going to break the game open. Maybe I shouldn't assure them that. Maybe they tested it and maybe it was really powerful. I don't know. Who am I to say? But yeah, this is going to be the 100 hit test. I'm getting a lot of crits. I don't know if this is going to skew the test. Oh, that counted as a raptor strike? Are kidding me? And he is very tanky. I gotta give him that. He is a very tanky champion. Oh wait, I was supposed to... Ah oh, crap, I was supposed to use the SP1. I was like trying to look at other stuff. Alright, that did like... What was that, five hits? I don't know, man. It's kind of cool. He's kind of growing on me, actually. <laughs> Just thinking about like how fast I got to that special without realizing it. It's kind of cool. I do have 100 energy now. It's pretty tanky. Uh, I don't know, he's kind of growing on me, kind of. He really doesn't take that much damage for a three-star champion, eating his SP2 like that. Crap, I might actually like this guy. <laughs> it took like all of two minutes to be like, ah, this champion, dumb. Yeah, I like it. I kind of like him. <laughs> All right, we'll we'll see what the what the damage is after this though. I'm probably not keeping incinerate on him enough here. All right, we'll call this the last hit. Slightly over 100, but that's because the SP2 did you know a few hits, and I didn't really mean to use the SP2. Okay. <laughs> no, Brian, no more testing before second round. <laughs> BG, take the 4 star to 330 and see what he can do unduped. Nah. Generate stack on Jacked Up Alliance for a node that gains some power. Yeah, man, that might be bad. Might be, might be bad. Hmm. 
Okay, so 488,000 is what's remaining. Alright, so his damage is not great, but it's not terrible. <laughs> I, I might as well fill this thing out. I don't know if I'll ever actually come back to this thing. I, I doubt it. I, I doubt I'll ever finish this spreadsheet, but um, we're going to record it here anyway. 488, 910. This is uh, Vulture. Oh, thank you. Uh, L1 spam. So Yandu L2 spam did more. Yandu L1 spam did more. Um, Rocket did significantly more. Vision, like I don't, I don't consider any of these champions to be like major damage dealers. You know, Nebula, Nebula, Yandu, Vulture. Or, or, well, Vulture now. Like, I didn't know about Vulture until testing him. So, he's not he's not a major damage dealer, I don't think. This screen is far too bright for my head. I'm going to keep calling you on Skype till you answer. Oh, are you trying to call me on Skype, dude? I'll get on Skype. I don't have it open right now. Hang on. My bad, dude. Hold up. Oh, you know what? Let me let me hide this. <laughs> uh Oh. Wait, hang on. I need to change sound settings real quick. Don't call. Hold on. Um Okay, I'm going to reset the game a second here. Or my air server at least, because that's the only way that I can get it to go through my headphones. Okay, now I got to make sure you guys can hear it. It's a whole process here. <laughs> it's never that easy. Gaming BG, the real deal, what's up man? You don't consider Rocket to be damage? No, 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 no. Rocket is a damage dealer. I didn't mean him. I meant everybody else on the screen but him. Okay. Going through my headset now. Probably going to have to raise this a bit. All right. Calling Joel. going through connecting Whoa. hello hey can you hear me yeah yeah, yeah. I can hear you awesome what's um, up man how's it going dude uh, <laughs> we gotta do some just some sound checks here how's Joel's volume guys is he too loud too quiet I saw the test, sound test. meter Sound meter kind of jumped off the charts here. I'm thinking I might need to turn you down, but I'll wait till everybody answers. Yeah, first. I'm I'm on a I'm on a headset, so it might be a little louder than last time we talked. Oh, I don't yeah, I don't, I don't know. I I just changed the sound settings. I have no idea where it was even at last time. Gotcha. He is good. Somebody says. Good. He's okay. There we go. Okay. Coming in. All right. Cool. A bit. Hi, louder than yours, Brian. Okay, I'm gonna lower it yours just a tiny bit, and then I think we're good. Uh, talk again. What's up, guys? Okay. Grand scheme, what's up, buddy? All right, I think this should be a little bit more even. He might be a he might be a tiny bit louder. Um. Here, let me let me no, move no, no, my no, microphone. No, 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 don't. You're good. <laughs> Did you change it already? <laughs> Hardly. All right, just yeah, just leave it then. We're good, I think. <laughs> I mean, right. I had to I had to come on here and defend the Dove Man. What did you see? I was kind of coming around. <laughs> <laughs> Were you? <laughs> a little bit. I started liking him. Yeah, a little bit. he's. I've been playing with him all afternoon. He was so confusing at the beginning, but I'm not. 
I'm not sure that Winter Soldier is a really good test for him because yeah. a lot of his a lot of his damage actually comes from characters that gain a lot of power with the S2. So if you're fighting somebody who's got like a power gain node or Mystic Dispersion or somebody like uh, like Hyperion or Cable with a power gain, his S2 actually does a ton more damage. Yeah, okay. So where do you think I should test this guy? I guess that's the problem is with a lot of these champions is uh I know, you it's, know Winter Soldier. It's difficult. Yeah. He's just, he's just yeah, so I much wish, easier to test. Yeah, I almost wish there was like a I don't know, like just a, a lobby or room you could go into and just practice against like anybody you wanted. Yeah. Well, I mean I guess I'm gonna go test against a magic right now. I'm gonna go dual a magic. Which I suppose I could just duel you. But I ain't gonna, gonna duel yeah, I don't. Greg. <laughs> I, I don't have Mystic Dispersion, so that may not help. Right, that's fine. I just found somebody here named Craig P. King James. Jay Devine sending over eight bucks. Saying, um, and I gotta make that more clear. I can't read it on screen. I always have to pop open the little Streamlabs thing. Um, but... Your message says, uh, had 258 in my PayPal, and that damn eight bucks was pissing me off, so I thought Brian could find better use, so here you go. <laughs> Thank me later. P.S. <laughs> What's up, Joel? <laughs> What's up, Jay? Thank you, man. Always very generous. All right, I'm gonna, I gotta slap you with a big old D before we get back to testing here. Uh, you might need to test afterwards yourself. What? All right. Anyway. Uh, yeah. If, if you do the Winter Soldier test again for damage, you gotta. It's all about the S2 for damage with him. Test on Vulture in Web Slinger. I could maybe do some. I yeah. could take him into <laughs> Web Slinger. Yeah. Let's do that after. You want to get guys. through all those fights? Ah, well, I mean, you could just skip. All right. Well, I'm all right. I'm probably not gonna test him on actual Vulture, but I was just thinking like Web Slinger. Um, would be kind of cool. We could take him in there at least the first champ. All right, so so all right. Here's the things that I like about Vulture so far. He does seem very tanky. The damage output seems like it's enough. Take him through this. Fight. His power his power drain is actually pretty cool because like if you're if you're getting to a point where you can't bait out a special. Like, you can just parry stun, evade back, and come back in, and you'll drain 25% of the max power, which when they're almost at a third special, that's almost a full bar. Yeah. It's tough, though, because, like, against magic, for example, I don't, I don't really want her to get that high. Yeah, magic, magic's probably a bad example. <laughs> yeah. I was trying but to Raptor Strike there. I don't know if it even worked. Oh, she, I just... She whiffed her special because I had... Yeah, you got... The decoy on. buff is actually, like, the most powerful thing he's got because you basically are invincible. You can just become as aggressive as you want. Because even if they hit you, it's a miss. They don't They do not do any damage. Yeah. All right, well, right now my Incinerate is doing such little damage that it's healing this magic. Uh, which I get, it's, you know, a three-star versus a five-star. But at the same time... That is something real to think about, is the damage, if it's not that high, it is going to be gimped a bit by willpower. Yeah, I, yeah I, I'm not sure the incinerator is there for the damage. It almost seems like it's there to defeat him power when he's awakened. Yeah, but then... It sucks you can't mind, stack it. If you... um, Spidey's got that synergy. For forty percent increase forty percent, yeah. Um, which I still don't think is enough. You know, what, let's go take let's go take this guy into uh, Web Slinger though. I just want to see the kind of tankiness that he. It's like it, it's a it's a decent test for general tankiness too, since you can. Or maybe it's not actually because he got the healing, but whatever. Let's try it out. Yeah, there's, a, there's a big difference between him when he's awakened and not, because when he's awakened, you know, you start with a full 100 energy, so you can do a raptor strike, I mean, you've got enough there for an incinerate, but when he's not awakened, it takes a long time to get all the way up there. 
Oh, yeah, I didn't even consider that. I kind of just overlooked yep. that fact. But yeah, that definitely does help. Yeah, that energy is a bit hard to come by. But if you start out with 100, and the fights aren't insanely long, like, let's say, Alliance War, like the like an average fight in Alliance War, not a, not a boss fight or something like that, uh, that 100 energy is probably enough to get you through pretty good. Mm-hmm. Can you answer? You see, that's why it's nice because you've got, like, like I said, if if you start if you start the fight, let's say you're even in like Alliance War on that unblockable S2 with uh, with like an OG Vision, with Synthesis he gets his S3 right away. But if you parry stun him, you can drain 25 percent of that right away. Yeah, that's that's true. You can do that. I don't know. I I don't think he's necessarily a power control champ, but I think it's just another little aspect of him. I'm not I'm not really sure what I feel about him. <laughs> I feel like I want to like him more than I do. Yeah. Sometimes it's like that with new champions. Uh Nebula was was an example of that for me. I I think I I've, I've kind of forced myself to find a situation where I had a, a really good time with her and then in like the average situation it it just it wasn't there for me. Yeah. Um someone here is telling me to do a test where you fart in your hand and throw it. That's uh next week. <laughs> I'll be doing that one. <laughs> oh god, what time is it? No wonder I'm tired. It's one thirty. Uh someone had a question here. I saw going back, John Maniac was asking about Space Bub's question. Uh where I said Yandu L one and, and L two spam, if that was your question there, Space Bub. Uh it was just a like a damage test. I wanted to know, you know, generally which was gonna be like better just for pure damage output reasons. Yeah, the, the grand scheme mentioned there, like what I've been thinking about, he says, I thought that he looks to be a really good option for stun immune champs with his Raptor, Raptor Strike and Decoy, which I totally agree with him, but in my testing today, I found it really difficult to actually get a Decoy buff consistently. He does have that tankiness where he can he can stand there and, uh, w w when you have the energy at least, where he can... Uh, take a few shots to bait out heavies, so that definitely does help with an unstunnable. Yeah, but it's it's only when you dodge back and then they block your incoming hit. Uh, the, no, the armor up is is just permanent if you have energy. So right now, like I have a ton no. of of armor. I'm I'm talking about the the decoy buff. Yeah, I know, I know, I know, but I'm just saying like the fact that he has high armor also helps. Oh yeah, yeah. No, I see what you're saying. I'm just saying like. Trying to evade back and then time it to where they block you coming forward every single time is a little bit more difficult than you'd think. Because more often than not, you're either going to get the intercept or they're going to catch you. Yeah. Ooh. That's a pretty good hit. The power burn, uh... Hang on, I'm trying to see... I get a feel for the actual damage it does. It's a little bit hard to get a read on that. Because the power burn itself, it, I mean, it helps and everything, but it also doesn't do that much. Does the number actually pop up? The power burn? Yeah, I mean, it's it's a little bit difficult to see. The SP2 back on. But like, yeah, if the whole time that you've got that siphon on there, like if they had a power gain, it would just be ticking away like a bleed, but it just, it ticks away like crazy while it's on. I just got wrecked. <laughs> you, you still look really good on my, oh, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I haven't been reading the chat at all. I'm sorry if anybody's asking me anything. I mean, I kind of warn people ahead of time, so for everybody who, <laughs> who uh, is trying to ask questions today, I'm sorry, guys. I, I, I guess I should have said at the beginning of this stream, but I say it uh, all week long, where, like, Sunday is the big testing day. Other days are great to ask questions and stuff like that, but, uh, you know, while I'm doing these tests, I really want to try and, and concentrate and focus on, on learning the champion and seeing if they're good and where they can be useful and stuff like that. So today's not the day for, for those types of questions so much. 
Yeah, I think he's a really, really solid champ. If you're building your roster, I just I can't really see a spot that he's going to take from my current roster in AW or AQ, unfortunately. We'll see. I don't know. I've only uh, my four star is only at rank one. I don't <laughs> I don't have the catalyst to take him anywhere until like next Saturday, unfortunately. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna hit him with this SP2 here in a second. Oh, we should not have one in on that. So that SP2 does good damage. In the grand scheme, saying I think another great matchup for him would be Mordo, which should be easy to get the decoy buff while Mordo is turtling. That is that is true, actually. I did quite a bit of testing with that, and he's got that power gain that's up all the time, so you can uh, you can time the siphon with his power gain. I have low energy now. My armor is pretty low as a result, and I can definitely tell a difference in the amount of uh, yeah. The damage the S one, uh, if you use the S one, all the all the power that he gains it converts directly over into energy when you hit him. Oh, is that what it is? Uh, okay. Yeah. Yep. All right. So S yeah, the S the S one gives you energy when you hit them. The S two burns them and gives them damage when you hit them. Okay. So they they're basically the same thing. They just one gives you energy, the other one gives them damage. Yeah. Alright. That helps, because, you know, my reading skills, not so good. Well the, way, uh, <laughs> well, the way it reads is really confusing. With these new champions, I really should just go back. Oh, yeah, wow, he gains a lot more energy there. Okay. So I'm yeah, definitely liking that. SP1 spam is the way to go. Yeah, I mean, you could... You could spam the S1 for like the whole fight and I mean sit at probably like you know 40, 50 plus energy the whole fight. Actually, but, I, oh, go ahead. I was just saying, but you, your damage output is a lot lower in your S1 than your S2 is. Yeah, I think I just realized something. Um, bouncing back and forth between the S1 and S2 might be the way to go actually. Yep. Because you can probably keep your energy pretty high if you just rotate the two. Yeah, see, like through the normal course of gameplay here, like you haven't, you haven't gotten a decoy buff. Why did I try to evade that? <laughs> so stupid. Uh, habit. That's all that is. Fight is very easy if you can break your habit of trying to evade Spidey's special. But I just got I'm still evade. trying to clear it with two stars. Um, drop faith. Maybe Joel should make a website. You're saying because my reading comprehension drop faith is that what you're saying? <laughs> All right, I want to try one more time here, knowing what I know now. We're actually I'm gonna read his abilities one more time again. And I'm gonna I'm gonna do that fight again, and I'm gonna rotate his abilities, knowing that whenever I'm low on energy, I need to use the S1. I might actually rotate between the S3 and the S1 just to keep uh, that long duration incinerate on, so that I can mm. gain more power. But at the same time, <laughs> what am I gaining power for? I'm sorry. <laughs> the the toilet flush is in the uh, in the chat saying mute Brian Grant. <laughs> God. All right, so the special one. Oh, that lasts for 15 seconds too. All right, so special 100% chance to apply the siphon charge debuff, which drains 25% of all power the opponent gains, converting it to the energy. Okay, so that's really yeah, really good. That's yeah, that's all pla uh, all power, including when they hit you, when you hit them, and then all power gain uh, buffs that they receive. That's actually pretty good. It would be awesome if you could stack the incinerates, because then you just spam the S1 all day and just evade everything. Yeah. And then you get Spidey in there for that 40% extra incinerate damage, possibly. How is he gaining health back? Uh, Jizz, this is just uh, the Spidey quest. It's got that uh, life transfer node. He's trying to finish... The Last path with two stars, the whole thing. Uh, I think that's a question for you there, Joel. Oh, I'm sorry. Let me see here. 
the two star through the Spidey challenge? Are you doing the what, single path, or is it the whole thing that you're trying to do? Uh, I'm I'm trying to do the single path with only Star Lord and Magic. No synergies even. No, just just them two. Nice. Which I've wasted way too much time doing it. I have it. I've had no content out this weekend. <laughs> Please plug your channel. People were asking. Nah, it's all good, iMac. Uh, I mean, if people want to search for me, uh, just search MCOC into my name, Joel Line, L I N E. You can pull me up, but uh, I didn't want to spam. There you go, Drop Face got it. Ham, send it over a dollar. Uh, the message here. Oh, this is a long one. Uh, Ham, I'm going to read your message after I die here, because that is a long one. I'm going to get wrecked if I try to read it. But thank you very much, dude. <laughs> I mean, maybe maybe not even rotating specials. Maybe just trying to do the Raptor Strike with the SP1 spam is the way to go, actually. Yeah, I, th I think there's a couple different ways you can play it. Yeah, cause if you've got the S1, if you got that siphon up, that's 15 seconds. I mean, that's more than enough time to get back to an S1. Watch. So watch how much power I just gained. Like it was a lot. I made a mistake there using SP2. Or I say power, but I meant like the energy. That's gonna get confusing. Yeah, it is confusing. It's funny, like, how simple this stuff actually is, but it's yet still kind of confusing. He's, yeah, he's he's different. I don't, it's going to take me a while to get used to him. Yeah, that, that siphon gives a ton of energy. I mean, a five-hit combo is probably, like, 30 to 40. If not even a little bit more. I wish that incinerate. I, re I really do wish it could stack. Yeah, see the something. thing. Yeah, the thing you're gonna have to get used to is every time you parry stun him when you're at 100 energy, you're actually wasting energy. So. In an ideal situation, you would evade back real quick before you came in and hit him. Which I know is kind of clunky because you're trying to hit him while he's unable to evade, but. Wait, so when I. I'm sorry, he just parry. died. <laughs> when, I, when I parry, I uh, lose energy? Is that what you're saying? No, no, no. no. So the only way to, to use the Raptor Strike, you have to evade back first. Okay, okay, so yeah. Okay. So when you have your siphon up and you're at 100 energy, you know, you're wasting the siphon, basically. Yeah, yeah. Because you, you can't gain more than 100 energy. Yeah. So, I mean, I guess that that's that probably is the way to play him, is spam SP1 and then try to dump your energy as, like, as fast as possible with the SP1 and gain, or with the, with the Raptor Strike and then gain it back with the SP1. That's going to take some getting used to. Yeah, it is. Um, I'm actually gonna exit out. Of, I want to go. I want to try this again against Winter Soldier. I think it might actually be better there. Uh, but Ham, your message was, "What's your tier in war and war rating?" I'm curious, as I saw your war video and barely any Mystic Dispersion. We're up against um, Core, and they all have five out of five Mystic Dispersion. Definitely one of the most uh, fun war matchups. 700 war rating difference, but it's a good challenge. Jeez, dude. Yeah, Core sounds pretty insane. I don't. I don't think we've ever gone against Core. We might have once, but I don't think we ever have. Um, there's Mystic Dispersion. There are ways to avoid triggering it, and at some points I have better control over triggering it than others. Um, just like the way that you, you back out. The way that you back out... Um, the way that, you, that you, you back up against a Mystic Dispersion champion, if you time it right, you won't trigger Dexterity... Uh, and they won't hit you. But if you if you're like if you do it too quickly, then their dash is going to connect into you and you're going to die. Or if you do it too slow, your dash back is going to cause dexterity. It's it's like a tough balance. 
Uh, and then baiting out heavies also helps. Certain champions, if you bait out their heavies, it, it's not going to trigger dexterity like magic. Typically, if you do it fast enough, at least. I would I would actually love to take off dexterity and, and uh, test Vulture, because he's got that passive ability. Um, this is our war rating. You know, I should have went to a different screen. I'm going to hide my face real quick. But yeah, we're at uh, 25, 26 at the moment. We're nowhere near core. Core is all the way... Yeah, they're number 9 in the world right now. They're about 3,000 rating. Those guys are way ahead of us. Way, way, way ahead of us. Okay. Where, where's 2 Loki at on that uh, on that list? Uh, I'm not sure. You're going to have to tell me. <laughs> I have no idea. We lost today. I have no idea. Jump back in Realm of Legends. All right. Well, I'd love to hang out all night, but I gotta go. <laughs> I gotta go to bed. I gotta be at work in a couple hours. Okay. Are you? Wait. Aren't you at work right now? Technically. <laughs> no, I'm. I'm. Uh, I'm in my sunroom at my house. Oh, okay. All right. I thought you were still at the office. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Yeah. Cool, man. Thanks for uh, hopping on for a bit. Yeah, thanks about for letting me. Thanks for letting me raid your stream. <laughs> yeah. No problem. All right, later, dude. See you. Later, chat. Uh, you guys didn't hear it, but uh, he just flushed the toilet. <laughs> I'm making that up. Uh, hang on, guys. I gotta I gotta adjust sound settings again, real quick here. Um. We might actually we might be done testing him right now. I gotta I gotta finish Act Five. I really have to finish Act Five, and I I wanted to like test this as quickly as possible. Maybe I'll do like one more test with him against Winter Soldier, but um, I really gotta get into Act Five and finish that thing, man. And I wanted to do it on stream. If it gets too long, maybe I won't. Maybe I won't do it on stream, but I want to finish it tonight because I want I want that Awakening or not the Awakening, the Rank Up Gem. And I already delayed it enough. Um, hang on. Still setting things up here. Okay. Oh, man. I don't know which one it is. All right. Hang on. Hang on. Playback devices. Okay. This. Might be loud for a second. Let me tell let me lower this. That's so hard to adjust. Okay. I'm going to lower that sound in just a second, guys. Okay. Should be. Oh, you guys can't even see what I'm doing. My bad. In the sound settings. All right, everything should be back to normal. You guys should be able to hear the game again. Uh, yeah, I think we're good. Not many people getting slapped in the face with uh, the big old D. Ah, I mean, we as long as we get to slap somebody, man, I feel good. All right. Uh, let's, you know what, let's, uh, I'm going to, I'm going to call it on the testing for tonight, actually. I'm going to call it on the testing. I'm just going to jump into Act 5. Um, I'll test them a little bit more later, and I'll make a video with, with, like, some final thoughts about the champion. Whoops, did I mean to go back in there? But for now, I really, really want to finish up the final bit of 5.2 that I have left. 
So I'm going to go ahead and jump in there right now. Um, team do I want? I want something like this, I think. But no, it is in here. So it's the debuffs that get removed, right? So yeah. You know what? I have to look at the paths. I have to actually look at the paths that I've... So we'll see. Brian, please? What? Billy Brett, do you have a question or something? You just keep saying, Brian. Brian, please help me. What's the best mastery for this Spidey event? Oh. Uh, well, I made a video talking about it. Honestly, you can use any masteries you want. The, the, the Spidey Challenge has no, like, specific requirements to it. No champion requirements. No... No mastery requirements. Use whatever you want. Basically, whatever masteries you're already using, you're good. Good to know I'm not alone on that. Alone on what, Timac? Might be tough. I use 550s and... Am I the only one that uh, always plays... Oh, with the game on mute? Yeah, no, I always play with the game on mute, too, but during the stream, uh, it feels weird to have it on mute. Can you type me a link to the video? No, dude, you gotta, you gotta do some work, too, man. I already did the work of, like, making the video, talking about the challenge, suggesting some, some setups. You could just search my channel for it. It's not that hard to find. Um... Can't do everything for you. Alright, so I know I know one path. I think it's this path up here has cow traps. Yeah, has cow traps, so I'm gonna need some kind of bleed immunity. What path do I take to get this 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 little guy right here, this energy refill? What are we at right here? So he's got nothing. Alright, so the first two guys have nothing. Uh this is crit damage and crit rate. Okay, don't care. Uh same thing. What about the left side? Transducer. The enemy rewards more power when struck, but its presence... Alright, I don't care about that either. Uh, combo shields. Okay. I don't care about any of these. Um, this one... I'm, this is the one that everybody says is tough, and I'm sure it is pretty tough. It sounds like it is normally, but uh, I think Gwenpool will still slice and dice through her just because she's so uh, powerful. Same thing with Strange... Local node here, just limber. And Alright, so we're just going to take the path up the middle. I'm going to use the same team that I have right now uh, for the first path. And then I'll, I'll adjust later. Where does this guy go? Oh, that's weird. Is that weird? Alright, whatever. Um, yeah, let's do that. Bring Archangel for magic. I only have a three star. So. Spidey challenge vid. Thank you, Ibac. Boss has cow traps unless you take the cow traps path. Oh, so the boss is going to have it? Ooh. Oh, I already started moving, though. <laughs> what do I do? Am I too lazy to, to, to grab a different champion? I kind of am. I hope that doesn't come back to bite me. <laughs> I should have looked at that though. Good call. Use it. Use it. Alright, he should be stunned when he comes out of this, so this should be pretty good. That BG ink. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe I should go back? I'm just gonna try it, whatever. First enemy's already down. Screw going back. Is that a hard BG? GP uh, will crush Storm with cow, with cow traps? Okay. I wonder how long this is going to take. I wonder if this is something that uh, I 
can do here. Um, Alright, so normally I would just fight this with Gwenpool, but I want to see, I want to like test out the, I do want to test out um, the health gain thing. I want to see what this is like with, with not a five, not a five star champion. With just a 550, I want to see what the, if I'm able to overcome the, the healing. I mean, I think I did this the first time with some 550s as well. Whoa, what am I doing? Wow. So, I, you know what? I don't even care about the 550s. Um, like I was saying, I just want to do this with Gwenpool. <laughs> um... No, that actually sucks. I, I did want to keep him alive. Of course, right? I'm evading, man. A little bit of evasion gets me every time. Take the refill and restart. Ready. How many enemies are here, though? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'll just keep going. It takes a lot of energy to get this refill. I'm just gonna keep going. John McKenzie sending ten dollars over. Thank you very much for that very generous super chat, dude. Uh, saying Gwenpool for life. Could not agree more. Um, thank you very much, man. Really appreciate that. I'm going to go ahead and slap you with a big old D right now. Give me one second to update this. Alright. Thank you very much, man. Very, very generous. Wait, is Joel still here? Uh, not on the mic. I don't know if he's here in chat. Alright, crit and crit damage. Alright, alright, alright. <laughs> you cheap wanker. About the energy? I probably am gonna have to use some potions though, just taking Gwenpool through this whole thing. Just the suicide damage alone is, is draining me a bit. Even if I don't get hit much. Should kill. Yeah. Right in the face. Dave never sees my comments. Like, the actual Dave, or do you think I'm Dave or something? Alright, we might as well go right and grab this little this little energy, little guy. Cost so much energy to get the refill. Yeah, it does, man. Alright, let's... Ooh, this could be pretty fun. Let's take an Hyperion. Let's uh, let's try to get some, uh, some heavies going. Get some Fury stacks. Hit him with that SP2. Oh, wait, that was weird. You know, oh, it's actually going to be hard to get the heavy off, right? Because he's going to... Yeah, he negates that first stun. Alright, there we go, though. Oh, that was weak. <laughs> that was weak. That sucks. I should have just used Gwenpool. Well, now I know. The actual Dave, not Impostia, slash Banana Crant. Okay. Try to get that healing, I got it. Just barely. Before getting wrecked. Alright, there we go, four Furies. That's what I'm talking about right there. Oh, what? That damage was still pathetic. What gives, man? Did I bring in the my three-star Hyperion? Oh, <laughs> okay. Oh, roll reversal's on.
No wonder. No wonder it took so long to bring down that initial uh, yellow jacket because of roll reversal. I'm so stupid. <laughs> stupid. Oh my god. I don't know what to say, guys. <laughs> BGM calling noob. <laughs> Jet Wu, look away, man. You shouldn't see me like this. And Lost Wolvie. Yeah, so I was doing the exact opposite of what I should be doing, right? Oh my god, man. <clears throat> well, I'm going to go with Gwenpool again now because that's all I really have left. <laughs> Two are just synergies. Freaking roll reversal got me. Can't believe it. I almost got caught by that, too. Gwenpool's really nice for this. Um, cause you can you can get your you can get your parry stun most times, cause he'll he'll take off a bleed first. Come on. <sighs> Too early. And you know if there's a way of finding out how many XP you are from the next level. Nope. There's technically no way. You can see what your current XP is with using like the Google Play or the Apple equivalent. I can't remember the name of the Apple one. Um, and people... I think people in the past have tried to record exact like XP requirements for different levels. I figured out what the... Like, the, the level cap XP is, so if you happen to be going from 59 to 60, then I have a video talking about that. Um, it's an oldie. Alright, let's pop some healing. Got a bunch of these in the overflow. Just keep it at that. That's really nice. Oh my god, come on, you were stunned, man. And now I'm wrecked. I'm um, dead. Oh boy. I am not playing too well right now. Think this will kill him? If not, I might be in trouble. He should be dead, though. Did Brian just intercept? Yeah, occasionally in the easier quests. Even though this is not an easier quest. I just don't feel pressured here. I feel pressured more in, like, Labyrinth of Legends and Alliance War and that kind of thing. Alright, I've got... So what is this? One, two, three, four... Is it five fights left after this one? I'm going to have to heal up for, for magic, I guess. Use some of these. Alright, 259. One more. There's a the video. Crab, thank you. My crabby friend. Who is not Patrick. Almost got caught by that. Limbo. Come on, with this limbo stuff. I have 22 hit right now. 
every time. Please die to this. Should have known that animation was going to take too long. Limbo every time. I seriously think there's some kind of bug going on. I had like 25 hits with Gwenpool and she tri she triggers it every time. <laughs> it's insane. Well, that was actually harder than I thought. I mean, it took a lot more damage than I thought, at least. I don't know what the deal is. Like, I, I feel like Gwenpool stops it when you have, like, a 50-hit combo, but up until then... Does she actually stop it? I don't know. I should have exited out as soon as I lost Wolverine. <laughs> Wasting too many resources. You got Pacify? I do not have Pacify. I do not. I know Pacify helps a lot, but... Um, there's not that many things I need it for. I need it for Alliance War. It'd be nice if I had it for Alliance War. Uh, aside from that, I need it for... Or like, literally nothing. Oh, what the... Okay. Okay. <laughs> I'm just getting wrecked. Like crazy. Clickbait, you're not testing Vulture. I tested Vulture earlier. I clearly say it right in the thumbnail end title that I'm also doing Act 5 today. So I hope you're just trolling. Magic gets 20, so 25 hit combo. Actually, maths out to be like 30%. Uh... 2 times 25 equals 50, minus 20 from our ability node. Should have exited, no, it takes too much energy to get that refill. Well, I mean, I wanted to do... Uh, yeah. There's nothing I can really say. Well, speaking of energy... Um. God. I want to use a different champion here. But my only two champions remaining, they're not going to do anything. Let's try it. Let's just see what Cyclops does here. Later, man. Dave! Oh, you're about to pass that. Okay, I was going to say, I didn't see you uh, enter, but you're uh, just popping in and say goodnight. Alright, cool, man. Later, Dave. I'm gonna hit him with the SP3, just because I never get to see it. That didn't do much. I think that actually healed him. Whoa, 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 whoa. He just, like, jumped on my screen there. That was strange. Like, it skipped a few frames. Oh yeah, this guy's hurting. Feel the wrath. Uh, kind of healed him. That's okay. Come on. Oh, 
Oh, I tried to intercept that. I knew it wasn't going to work. It's all right. I tweeted you what King Groot thinks of this fight. All right, let me check that out, Drop Faith. I'm sure that's something ridiculous. <laughs> Good God, man. 476 hits. Wow. That's pretty brutal. I have a customer at work who looks eerily similar to you, Brian, so I tried to Google a pic of you to show someone and kept getting images of the former NBA player. Do you know who he is? The NBA player? Yeah, his name is Brian Grant. Um, no, he played for the Heat. I think he played for a different team before as well, but he, I know he played for the Heat. Alright, I'm just gonna... I'm not even gonna try to parry this guy at all. I just wanna bait out heavies. If I can survive long enough against his Enrage. Or not Enrage, uh... Fury. Actually, there we go. Orlando Magic 2, is that what it is? You ended full health, though? Oh, crap. I thought that was... I thought we only had... Uh, Storm left. Oh, well. This was a very, very expensive round one here. In terms of... Uh, items. Jeez. No, he never played for the magic? Okay. So Loki's about to get cut. Yeah, I really... I definitely should have just backed out. I don't know what I was thinking. Uh, the second I lost Wolverine... can't believe I noobed it up and forgot all about uh, roll reversal. I'm going to bring in um, Iceman, I guess, too. Instead of uh, one of these other champions, just so I have something to beat Caltraps. Because, yeah... This should also be pretty interesting. So what is it? We got Limber. Okay, I don't care about that. Don't care, don't care, don't care. Yeah, it's just Caltraps. The bleed over six second thing. That's going to hurt pretty bad. Um, Let's see. what. Let's just feel out the damage with Magneto first. Oh, at least I got class advantage. Because of Roll Reversal. So that's nice. Oof. Yeah, that hurts. Oh, yeah. Oh, that definitely hurts. Okay. BG got my first five star. It was magic. Jake. Nice. That is one of the best five star champions that you could possibly get. Um, let's use some more of these. Is that good enough? That might be good enough, if I can cut through her quick enough. Let's see. I meant to, to charge in right there, actually. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what a joke. When she stuns like that, man, it's, it's just stupid at times. Alright, we're going to do this again. Oh, I want to change team, my bad. Wait, anything on the map here? Anything good? Uh, potion over there. Alright, so I'm going to sneak in and grab this potion. I might as well. It's just limber. Alright, that doesn't matter. 
Yeah, I'm gonna change up my team a little bit. I'm gonna grab somebody else. I'm, I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get rid of all the synergy guys. I think maybe. Uh, I do have to grab some items out of the stash as well. Yeah, I'm gonna grab those. Just pop into alliance quest. Make sure I'm not holding up a node. I'm not gonna do any fights as long as. No, I'm not on an actual node. Okay. All right, nice. That Caltrops path is hell. Well, I mean, if you have a, a bleed immune champion, then Caltrops doesn't really mean anything, right? Wrong mode. I like having the synergies, though, actually. Maybe I will keep the synergies. Maybe I'll just ditch him, and maybe I will just throw in Ice Pro. Oh, that's why. I was like, where is Ice Pro? He's in Alliance Quest. Ugh. <laughs> Alright, well, if Ice Pro's in Alliance Quest, then I guess we're going with Vision here. Because Ultron is also in there. But at least we get some extra crit synergy. Okay. This will have to do. Alright. So yeah, we're just going to take that, that right path. I didn't want to go this way. I clicked on the wrong spot. Ah, guys, I'm noobing it up so hard right now. Ah. I'm going to go back. <laughs> I'm going to go back. Read my last one you can, Brian. Alright, GM. What do you got? Uh, Gwenpool is the new pre-update Scarlet Witch. How does it feel? Yeah, I would definitely not go that far, man. Um, in terms of stunning power... In terms of stunning power, she has it. The, there's a big difference, though, in that she can't power drain or power lock or whatever Scarlet Witch can do. So there's only so many hits you can actually do while the enemy is stunned. Uh, the stuns are significantly lower in duration, too. No healing. None of that good stuff. No nullifying. <laughs> Got too far to back out now. Yeah. Alright. Um... Oh god. Ant-Man. I gotta do it with Gwenpool. Even though I have the class disadvantage here with role reversal. Ant-Man's such a tedious fight, right? It's the only champion that's gonna put out enough damage to make it not last an eternity. Almost got clips there by evading too uh, slowly. Jeez, did I miscount the hits there? I thought I had like another hit in that combo. I think I did. <laughs> Can't count tonight either, guys. You know who's good? Voodoo. Should I brought Voodoo in here? Probably, right? That's okay. The fight didn't take that long. Fifty-nine hits, not that bad. Once got high off chicken dumplings. Worst night ever. What? Is that possible? Representing for Cameron since he's not here. Got it. And maybe it's a good thing he's not here because he'd be screaming. He'd be screaming for uh, for voodoo right now. Definitely does look like a voodoo path. Um, ugh. 
I kind of want to use Gwenpool again. Let's go Wolverine. And you're, and you're testing his Punisher 2099 any good? Uh, he can be alright. Not great. I'm not going to use him anywhere, but depending on who you have in your roster, you might use him. Oh, okay, I forgot to shrug that off. Whoops. That one more evade charge that I'm worried about. Use that last evade charge, dude. Eh, oh, that wasn't it. I'm so worried about the last evade. Like, I'm. Wait, is it. No, it's still up there, right? Okay, there we go. Wow, finally. Alright, this should kill him. Punisher 29 hits okay when he reaches 100 battery. Yeah, when he has high battery charges, he hits all right. He's not that bad. All right, what do you expect? Round two, Captain World War Two cutoff. Uh, about the same as what he went for in round one. So about 2.8 million. Okay. We're going to slice and dice this fool. I want to deal with the SP1. I'm going to throw that at him. Jeez. I took a lot of damage there, actually. Took a bit more damage than I thought I would. What did 4 Star Vulture go for? Uh, less than 12 million, Bob the Knob. Uh, I don't know the exact. I think it went for like 11.8, I want to say. 11.7, 11.8, somewhere in that ballpark. Oh, Electro. Okay. Let's see if I can heal off this guy. Well, not kill myself off this guy, pretty much. Yeah, drop faith. It was it was under. Ugh. I think I am going to kill myself. And that heal is just not enough. Ah, please kill. Yes. Jeez. A little close there, eh, guys? Nope. It's all worth it, though. I can heal him right back up now with that potion. Yep. That's what I did it for. Alright, let's see if I can heal off of Howard the Duck a bit. I'm gonna heal up some. God, this is taking too long, too. Not only is it taking longer than I thought, but it's taking more resources than I thought, also. Um, oh. Howard's a duck. How dare you.
Throw it. Hit me with the fist. I don't even mind that he's healing. It gives me more time to heal. As long as I don't mess up. Oh, I probably just jinxed myself, didn't I? Why do I keep seeing regeneration? Oh, wait, never mind. I thought he had higher health for some reason. I don't know where my brain is at today, man. Ugh. I didn't sleep a whole lot last night, guys. Maybe that's what's going on. Uh, I stayed up way too late grinding for, for Vulture, even though I knew I should have stopped earlier. All right. How long is this path? So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, including the boss. That's not too bad. Uh, what are these notes again? Oh, is Aldous Limber still? Okay. <laughs> oh, look, excuses. It's not excuses, man. Frojo, what's up, dude? Alright. Let's Wolverine it again. Vulture round two gonna be about the same? Uh, no, I think... I don't know where... Actually, I really don't know where Vulture's gonna go. Um, he's nothing spectacular. But he went for a kind of low score the first round, so... God, I gotta shut up. People might see the low score that he went for and think they can pick him up. Relatively easy. <laughs> it's like trying to dodge and then when I'm, when I'm free then I'll talk. Um, people think they can pick him up kind of easy so that's a possibility. Or people just really won't like him from based off the videos that they've seen. Um, and he'll go even lower than what he went for. Maybe he'll go for, like, what King Groot did, you know? It's, so it's hard to say. It's really, you can't, you, there's no way to predict the second round for Vulture. I'll try my best anyway. And say that, um, you know, say that he will go for about the same, I guess. But there's no way to accurately predict it. Not gonna happen. Yeah, work right now, Frojo. Brian, what do you think of Vulture? Brian Berkey. Eh. What are your thoughts, man? I know yesterday you were you were pushing for the champion pretty hard there. Think thirteen million would safe? Probably go fourteen plus. Uh, if you go fourteen plus, then I w I would say you're safe. Like, see, I would th I would think. That you're safe with that. Is it score with these series events to gauge your scores? <sighs> a little bit. I wouldn't say it's easy to do it, but you can use that a little bit, Drop Faith. Is Vulture a wet noodle? No. He hits, I mean, he hits fine. He, he's kind of like an all-around champion. But, I, I don't know. I still need more time to, to play around with him, to be honest. Alright, let's see if I could use Cyclops here. Maybe I should just use Wolverine. I can get more healing off if I use Wolverine. Yeah, let's... Let's use Wolverine and hope I don't screw up. Basically. Maybe I can heal myself up to full. And by heal myself up to full... 
I mean, take significant amount of damage. I almost got clipped by that. Shut up, me. Shut up. Nice, that still took away his uh, healing, even though he shrugged the stun off immediately. God, I thought I was going to get nailed by that again. My thumb was like slightly sticking. Alright, well I think I healed a little bit. Not much though. Uh, fine, Brookie. If awakened, then good, better than average, but I have to eat my words about him being better than Stark Spider-Man right now. Yeah, dude. There was no way he was going to be better than Stark Spider-Man. He has to be duped or he is garbage. Um, yeah, he's, he's just an average champion for me, I think. But I, I need more time, because depending on how he's played, there might be, might be some use for him. It's kind of average. Do you do the Sunday Crystal Arenas? Sometimes. Today I'm not doing them. But sometimes I do. Alright, I don't think I need to heal up. I think I could finish this fight without healing. Does Cap World War 2 need to be awakened? He does not, but... You know, he's not going to go that high in Arena. If you're able to get him from Arena... Then go for it. Oh boy! Okay, he could have punished me there. He could have destroyed me, he could have done it again. Okay. I'm gonna die. Yep. Slightly too late on that last parry. Got wrecked. Something in my whole map six run. It's so hard to record all the fights. Yeah, man, I've never even done that legacy. It's that's too annoying, man. That's cool that you got it though. Let's see if I can finish it with Cyclops. I should ah, oh, I should have just revived Gwen. I need to revive her anyway. Oh whatever. What is going on? Like, I actually was trying to sway back that time. Oh, man. That time I can't tell if it was me or if it was something else going on there. You guys know I always admit it when it's me. But that was strange. That was really strange. See, that time was me. That time was me also. I'm so dead. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just getting schooled by this nightcrawler. Ugh, oh, jeez. <laughs> Should have done this from the start.
the stream go offline for a second? Uh, I don't know. Nothing, no issues on my end, so I don't know if there's anything going on with uh, YouTube or whatever. Oh boy. We got this cable fight. I'm gonna get that degen. But if you guys remember what happened that last time I went against cable with Gwenpool, I ended the fight very quickly. I don't know if it's gonna be the same result here. This might actually suck. Let's find out, shall we? I'm getting the stuns. The stuns did not last, though. Please die, please die, please die. Thank you. Okay, still took quite a bit of damage there. Ryan, should I rank 3 my unduped 5 star Gwenpool or rank 5 my duped one? Bob Marley, um. Mm. Tough one. The 5 star would do more damage by a small amount, and the 4 star would have extra utility. Um, I don't know, man. That's actually really tough. Do you need prestige? Because the four star would have higher prestige too, and that would make it an, e an easy decision to go with the four star. If not, if not, I might just go with the five star. All right, let's try this with. Let's try this with Wolverine. Oh, jeez. I should have just healed up Gwenpool for this fight, honestly. This guy's evading like crazy. Yeah, I'm wrecked. It's over. That's all she wrote on that one. How <laughs> stupid. I definitely should go in here with, uh, with Gwenpool. Man, I'm getting torn up tonight. It's not playing well at all. Is Mystic Gem on Ghost Rider? Uh, I wouldn't, but some people really like him. I think he can be played without it, though. Oh, I forgot that resets my combo. I shouldn't have tried to do that. I need to just block this guy. Oh boy, that scared the crap out of me. I think I'm still good. That evade. Have you noticed there are some issues with Mordo defense lately? Could pass over to Kabam resolve the issue? Uh, I don't know what issues you're talking about. I don't see anything wrong with Mordo on defense. So, if you find something, then uh, uh, you could pass over to Kabam if that's what you're asking. If you're asking for me to do it, then no. Because I don't know what the issue is. Can they just add a select all button for ISO and leveling champs? Yeah, that'd be nice. Alright, I might as well use Vision. I didn't use Vision all this entire run. Probably a mistake. But whatever. Oh wait, I'm supposed to be saving from the boss because of cow traps, right? Something like that. Yeah. 
Even though he's gonna have class disadvantage. Oh, I missed my opportunity. Missed my opportunity again. What am I doing? Yeah, like my reactions tonight are just so slow. Ugh. Oh wow, that actually healed him up. That power drain, I guess, counts as a debuff. What kind of garbage. BG, are you a hacker? Yes. But I'm not just any hacker. I'm elite hacksaw. Ugh, I felt bad saying that. It felt too cringy even for me. Right, you think it's worth it to rank 3 my 5 star storm, or should I save for the tier 4 class Kalos for either Psylocke or Iceman? I would save it for Iceman. Crabs. I would not even uh, give it to Psylocke. I wouldn't give it to Storm either. Oh, it was the heal block debuff that healed him. Wow, he healed off of heal block. That's crazy. Yeah, I was wondering about that, because I'm like, wait a minute, on debuff immunes, you could power drain, though. But yeah, okay, that makes sense now. Alright, uh, let's see what I can get done with this guy. Oh, he's got those no those buffs, too. She. Calling Storm a he. I don't want to get my SP3 off, but I don't know if I'll be able to with that going on. Oh, okay, I thought I was getting hit by that. Nice, I got the SP3. Timed it just right. Yes. I actually made it. People saying 16 hours till AA. Explain? Um, is he being added to the crystals? I'm not sure. No, he's already in the crystals. What am I saying? No, I don't know what 16 hours till AA is. Alcohol's Anonymous? Is there a meeting in 16 hours? Man, guys, um, I'm not going to be able to make it tonight. That was only the second path. How many more paths do I have in this place? Like, it's already 10 minutes past the time where I normally stop. So I've got this one path back here that leads over to cow traps, right? I wish I had Iceman for that. Be nice. Um, so one there, one there. That's two... Three on this left side. Is that it? Yeah, because this also connects to the middle. Alright, so it's three paths, but... I can't do that tonight. That would take me another... Like, hour and a half to do or something like that at the rate I was going. Um, I mean, I can go a little bit faster, but even... 
you know, it's still going to take me like an hour to get through it all. Something like that. So, yeah, I'm not going to be able to do it tonight, guys. Two paths? Wait, you guys are saying two paths? Two paths remaining, or two paths that I... Did I make a mistake here? Oh, this one wraps all the way around. Okay. Wow, that's a really long path. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Maybe it's not that bad, actually, because you teleport back here, you skip all that. So there's 11 fights there. And then... It's just right here, so... 12, 13, 14. Alright, that's not that bad, actually. It is only two paths, you guys are right. So that one, and then up this middle. Still, though, um... It wouldn't take me an hour, but it's still gonna be a while. And I'm playing pretty poorly right now. So, yeah. I ain't gonna do it, guys. I'm sorry. Um, either way, I wasn't gonna... I wasn't gonna open the rewards tonight, so you're not missing out on anything. Um... I'm going to finish it tomorrow, like tomorrow morning, and I'll make a video with the rewards after. I know you guys are all saying do it, but I'm sorry. It's it's going to be too late, man. It's going to be way too late. I just can't do it, guys. I have to, I actually have to be, I almost started the stream early tonight because I had to be up early. Maybe daytime stream? Is that a good compromise? I'll do. I'll do a daytime stream. Finish it up, then? <laughs> I just like seeing you get owned. Thanks, Bob the Knob. Beware of cow chops, heed my warning. Well, if I do it during the daytime, I could actually have Iceman, too, which I'd much rather have than Vision. I'll, I'll do a daytime stream, guys. I'll finish it up on the daytime. You get, you can still watch me get wrecked all you want. Um, I actually have something that I have to do, like, not that early in the morning, but I have something that I have to do, which is, like, early-ish for me. <laughs> Only because, uh, you know, I do sleep in a little bit. I say sleep in, but really I only sleep, like, four to six hours still. Brian, how do you hoard crystals? It physically pains me to keep seeing my 5-star shards at 17k and not being able to open them because I have at least 100 days till Stark Spidey. Uh, yeah, man. The 5-stars are very tough for me to save. The only reason I'm saving them right now is because I'm not sure if I want to save them or not. <laughs> I'm undecided at the moment. Brian, if you stream, they will come. Alright. BG, do you think these Spidey shards will port to premium shards like last time? I do think so, iMac, yeah. I'm actually going to be opening those next week. Like, in a few days here. Uh, well, after Summon Advancement. I'm going to open them after Summon Advancement. So maybe, like, Thursday or Friday or something like that. Um, I want to I wanna make sure I can get all the two stars. And if I don't get all the two stars, then I'm going to do everything I can get... Everything I can to get all the shards that I possibly can. So, yeah, I'm going to be popping open those things. I'm not going to be waiting until the end of the month like I originally thought I was. What device are you playing on? It's an iPhone 7 Plus. BG, should I rank 4 my OG cap or rank 3 Spider-Man, both unduped? Um, I'm guessing the rank 3 is, is your 5 star? Wait, no. Wait, what? Are those just 4 stars? I would go with OG cap over Spidey. Personally. Do you know who all 8 are? It says it in the description. I'll figure it out. Ugh. BG, could you please look up something something on Twitter? I drew Gwenpool and I was hoping to get your view of it. Uh, like whether it looks totally awesome or the opposite of that. <clears throat> just send it over to me. You don't. Um, I don't need to look it up. You could just tag me. Tag me in a tweet. I'll check it out. I check my Twitter like two or three times a day or something like that. If not more. Certain days. Certain days when I'm... <laughs> When I uh, when I don't feel like working, I guess I gotta stop doing that. Honestly, I gotta cut it down to like 
only twice a day or something like that. Because Twitter is pretty fun, man, I gotta admit. I didn't think I was gonna like Twitter that much, but it's fun, man. Because there's no reading involved, generally. Generally, people are just sending over pictures. So I like that about it. <laughs> Whereas, like, the YouTube comments, I still check those out, but you actually have to read. You know? BG, when you move, would need some help. Nah. I'm good. Thank you. 5 star Spidey, an OG cap, uh, 4 star. Okay, yeah, I would still go with the 4 star cap. 2 star Hulk. I don't think Hulk is, I don't think Hulk is maxed out yet, is he? No. One of my few that are not maxed. Okay. BG, where's your hair? Uh, I ate it. Accidentally. Alright. I'm gonna pop open one more premium, just because I kind of feel like it. Matter of fact, we're gonna pop open two premiums. Because I'm feeling kind of lucky all of a sudden. Like, maybe my poor performance, maybe Kabam feels pity upon my soul. And wants to give me a four-star champion, perhaps. Because that'd be sick. Any four-star champion. Did you have a four-star science awakening gem? Wake an OG Spidey or Quake? Personally, I go with Quake, but make sure you actually like playing Quake. Um, she doesn't need to be awakened, but... Uh, Two-star storm. Um, but yeah, I like Quake. And her signature ability. It helps, even if it doesn't do a ton. Swaggy has a connection with Scarlet Witch, and it's not the champ? Huh? Like the person who plays Scarlet Witch or something like that? Is Spidey Stark Enhanced worthy of a generic awakening gem? <sighs> Speaking of Scarlet Witch, I don't think she's maxed out yet either. No, 89. Um. Stark Spidey, he's really good. He, he's still pretty good without being awakened. But I guess he still is worthy of the Awakening Gem. So I would say yes. Morale is low, BG. Heads up. Uh, my morale? Or you guys' morale? I don't know. I mean, I'm a little bit tired, but I feel fine. Like, I'm still happy or whatever. Alright. I'm almost on 20,000 five-star shards. That's pretty sweet. You guys think I should get one of these crystals? Me neither. I should probably pop these glory crystals open at some point too. Next week, next week is actually going to be a really big opening week. Um, it's going to be an all-out week for the Alliance, so we're just going to get to pop open any crystals we want. Nobody has to hold back to worry about, like, overshooting and summon advancement. Um, so I'm not going to open up everything, but I am going to open up more than usual. And, yeah, we're going to see if we can hit rank 1 again doing that. Or, I mean, even if, even if we don't hit rank 1, every once in a while we just have to do it. Otherwise, people sit on too many things, and then we overshoot too frequently. Um, but I'm out of here tonight, guys. <laughs> I'll get some sleep. I'll come back refreshed in the morning. Uh, I'll finish up Act 5, finally. Wait, I just realized something. Oh, crap, man. Daytime stream... Hold on, guys. I might be... I have to check something. I might not be able to do a daytime stream tomorrow. I gotta see... Uh, I was supposed to do something. I shouldn't have, I shouldn't have made that promise without checking. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I'm not sure if I can, guys. Damn. Uh, 
Um, damn. I don't think I can. I don't think I can. I'll, I'll update on Twitter if I can, of course. I'll, I'll send something out, but uh, I don't think I can, actually. Sorry, guys. I mean, it's nothing It's nothing that crazy. It's just two paths anyway, right? You guys saw me get wrecked plenty here. <laughs> uh, tonight, at least. Sorry, guys. BG is that kind of girl. Sorry, man. Alright, I'm going to try to make it happen. I'm going to try to make it happen because I do want like, oh man, I already said it, so I do want to do it, right? But I might not be able to. Uh, but that's that's going to do it for tonight, guys. The faster I get out of here, the faster I'll be able to get stuff done. And uh, maybe I can maybe I can do the stream in the morning. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, thanks thanks for hanging out, guys. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thank you for the donations as well. Appreciate that. Keeping this stream going strong.